After a two-year hiatus, Target 60 returns. No excuses, just going to jump into it. In this video, I'll pick my favorites from the GOG Stay at Home collection, a set of 27 free-to-play games that will run on any system. This will be the first of several in a series I've titled Frugal Gaming, where I explore the free-to-play offerings in the market. As many of us are confined to our homes and even short on cash, it's important to keep occupied and find an escape while the coronavirus crisis looms. A link to the games is in the description. None are sponsored, all are free to play, with no pay to play, and there is something for everyone on this list. So, on to the first collection of games. I split the GOG collection into four categories. Adventure, Role Playing, Shooters, and Strategy. The games in this collection are captivating once you relax your attention span and learn controls 20 or more years old. These are true single player games with immersive storylines for hours of entertainment. The stories and dialogues are from another time, Ancient Chinese secret. and many would be considered controversial where they publish today. I like sword. That's a personal weapon. I originally helped to showcase all the games, however that video would have been hours long and taken hours more to complete. So instead I'll pick my four favorites, the ones I kept playing for far too long as I tried to make this video and played through in full. Give us this day our daily bread. In no particular order, the first game on my list is Tales of Werewolves. Set in 19th century Canada, you play one of two brothers protecting their sister from a lecherous priest, the devil, and their werewolf horde. It's a combination of adventure and strategy that has real depth. The mechanics are simple to pick up and most of all fun. It will run on almost any system and have no trouble targeting 60 frames per second. Once you get V-Sync working, that is. I'll chop you in two, you mongrels! Second on my list is Legend of Keepers, a role reversal game where you play the villain, or in this case, the dungeon master, who ensnares would-be heroes and heroines. Graphics on this one are a little more demanding than the rest of the games on this list but the pace of the game still makes 60 frames per second possible on most systems. I was entertained by the it's just a job attitude this game takes as you manage your demon horde to thwart adventurers. The title goes so far as to have you risk employee burnout if you work them too hard. I'll let the boss explain some of this. Congratulations and welcome to the Dungeons Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. Heroes keep coming to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. Idiotic adventurers or not, it does take some thought to plan out your defenses and prepare for the incoming heroes, whether that is setting traps, positioning your troops, or casting spells. The game has the classic array of elemental and magical abilities for you to consider while you play, such as fire, ice, or air strengths and weaknesses. While the game lacks a story arc, it makes up for it in its novel twist on roles in a dungeon strategy game. Alder's Blood Prologue is a true turn-based strategy game, and one that will run on any system today. You could call this a demo of sorts, as the story is rather short and it takes place as a prologue to its namesake release. Regardless, for an hour of free entertainment, it's worth spending the time. One plays as a common villager named Charles, and you do your best to survive in a cruel world. Unlike Tale of Werewolves, where the character arc gives you a sense of hope against the darkness, Alder's Blood Prologue does not, and may not be the best choice if you are looking for a pick-me-up during these times. The fourth and perhaps overall favorite is Flight of the Amazon Queen, a title 25 years old, the ridiculous intro had me hooked. Well, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? 
Sparky. You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them. Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. This time. That was close. It's so ridiculous, and of all the things, how did they tilt the bathtub like that to climb up to the ceiling? This is a turn-based, point-and-click adventure game that has you thwarting world domination in the Amazon jungle. It's not a challenging game, but it is fun to play through and filled with sassy humor that is sure to lighten the mood while you're respecting the quarantine. It's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you want to see more in the Frugal Gaming series as we explore offerings from Steam, Blizzard, Uplay, and more. Stay safe.